Hey, what's going on guys? Here we are at Longfellow's cabin. And this is not my main build. This is more just an unwrapping process, okay, where I basically just pick any random structure. And then what I try to do is try to implement all of the new content, new items into the one build and kind of just see what I can come up with. But it's mainly about just familiarizing myself with all of the new content. So anyway, let's just go back to the beginning and let's check out what's new and see what we can do with it. Okay, so first things first and one thing that I've noticed is that um, it's really important to build off a base, okay, even if you're on foundations, um, even as good as the foundations look as floors, uh, you can have a lot of trouble later on trying to snap different walls to each other and stuff like that. So. Um, I think it's very important to use these floors, or any floor really, doesn't matter. Um, and I'm just going to build myself a base out of floors here. And I'm going to make this maybe 3 by, say, 4 or 5. Even though it's only a tavern, I don't want it to be too big or too small. Because, like, I don't know if you ever remember those really old school taverns, like in the movies and stuff like that. and. You know, the bartender actually lives at the tavern, so he has his own little room down the back, stuff like that. And it's kind of what I want to do here. Um, even though this isn't a build that I'm keeping, and I'm probably just going to rip it straight down straight after. I still want to build this as if I was to keep it. So, what we're going to do right now is just start making use of some of these walls. Um, and there's, you know, there's a whole bunch of different types here. So, you've got the larger window ones, the smaller window ones, and then there's some more really authentic kind of broken down pieces um, which I'm also going to make use of as well so I'm um, probably going to put a wall in the middle here because this might be a good place for a sign like a tavern sign or something like that and um, you know and I think the, the kind of the most complex thing about building with these barns and stuff like that is that the snapping is actually worse <laughs> than it was with the concrete so um, yeah, at times you've really just got to find that spot where it just snaps in. Um, sometimes they'll go in really easy, sometimes they don't. So, as you can see there, that was a bit of a freaking circus show. Okay, so, obviously it's going to be a square kind of shape to begin with, and then we'll add some pieces later on to kind of get rid of that very basic square kind of shape. Um, and obviously just mix and matching a few of these different walls. Okay, because I don't need windows at the bottom here, I'm going to put the windows up top um, just to appear to be a bit more of a barn that was turned into a tavern or something like that. Um, and I'm probably going to put a door in here. Um, one of the big doors, the one of the barn doors that open outwards, um, double doors, sorry. But just for now, I'm just going to place a few in and kind of get the general shape going. And so, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of different prefabs to play around with here, so... Um, I think the biggest problem is, or well, the biggest challenge, sorry, would be... Um, kind of using all of the prefabs from all DLCs and the original vanilla set. Um, which I plan on doing in maybe my second build. Um, and just trying to utilise everything in the one kind of settlement and... You know, I'm kind of looking forward to that because it does seem like a bit of a challenge and I think we could probably build some pretty cool stuff in there. Uh, but for now, we're just going to start off with, the, with, with uh, this play around build and then... Um, so I don't know if I like that. That might be... Yeah, and then, um, and then obviously we'll start mixing some stuff up and you know, start making some much cooler builds. So these roof pieces here, um, there are smaller ones, there's bigger ones as well, but I think for a structure of this size I might use the smaller ones because it's already two floors in height, so um, I think if I use uh, the larger ones here along with the, I think it's only three um, floor blocks in width, I think it's going to look a little funny and a little tall and kind of spastic looking. So, what I'm going to do is use these for now, and I might even mix and match these on either side because one of the sides is going to be slightly different in shape, ok, 
okay, just to take away that uh, boxy kind of look to it. I mean, it is a barn, so it's always going to look boxy, but I kind of want to add a little bit of a design to it so it just doesn't look so plain. Um, now, these pieces here, uh, you've got a left and a right, so there seems to be a lot of these pieces um, where the left actually doesn't work on the right and stuff like that, so you really need to take that into account. I mean, obviously, it's pretty easy to remember that the first one's obviously the left piece and the second one's obviously the right, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then you can add your own little half pieces here too, which I really kind of like because I think that there's a lot we can do with that as well. When we get to some really complex structures later on, I think that's really going to help us out. So, uh, what I might do is I'm going to, like I mentioned earlier, I did want to add a little something different to this side. So what I'm going to do is just pull it out um, and create maybe like a, a room out the side here. Put some roof pieces on and um, just create something a little extra here. So. Uh, one thing to sort of keep an eye on is that your, your prefabs actually have roof pieces that are quite useful. I don't know why they didn't get put in the roof section, but <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going with it. And obviously there's a left and a right there as well, so um, in order to get rid of that gap on the right here, you could either put one of those wall pieces in or you can just use this prefab in itself. It just seems to be a little bit easier. And that's come up quite nice. Um, so we're just gonna maybe just start chucking small walls in for now. Okay, and I'm gonna maybe just try and use the nice new pieces for the inside, and then use some kind of decayed pieces for the outside, just for a bit more of an authentic kind of look. Um, even though just about every single piece is kind of busted up, uh, I think. We can still take advantage of all the other pieces. So um, once again, here's our corner pieces, and obviously the the gutter side's going to face outwards. So another way to tell which one's which. And yeah, so you can just, you can see just there that yeah gutter always faces outwards. So chucking in a couple more half pieces here. We're going to meet the other side, uh, the front of the tavern and we're going to put the window up top. Okay, so it was quite large in here or quite high at the moment but I think once I add an extra floor and stuff like that um, you know it's not going to look so so high in general. Um, okay so I'm probably I'm thinking of maybe having a deck out here so we're just going to have some open barn doors here and this is the same thing again you've got a left and a right so Let's zoom in. So we're just going to open these up. Okay, so we've got kind of a side entrance here, and that can just go to a deck or something like that, where you know all your settlers can drink and grab a seat and stuff like that. Um, and for the inside here, um, yeah, I'm going to have like a bedroom and like a storeroom or something down there, and I'm going to build the bar right here. So. First things first, we're going to put some floors in because we're going to need to put a stairway in at some point to get to the top. Um, and I'm going to have like a bedroom up here, so this will be the, uh, you know, the tavern owner's um, bedroom or something. And we're just going to put some walls in here. Um, and we've got the issue of things facing the wrong way too, so it's just a matter of kind of rotating with your triggers or, you know, whatever platform you're on. Um, or you know just basically moving back and forth and stuff like that to kind of wriggle it in different positions. So just rotate these ones around just a little bit and pretty happy with that so uh, obviously we're going to need a stairwell of course so thinking maybe in the back corner here um, so if you use some smaller pieces to get across here you may create just a little bit of a walkway um, we can get a stairs in there somewhere. Although I don't know about that because I'm not too sure about the dimensions and I don't really want anything blocking the doorways. So, um, 
Yeah, no. <laughs> nah, that's, that's not happening. No, there is that. God damn it. Okay, so, you know what? Just take this out. Um, maybe put this over the doorway. Uh, it's probably help if it wasn't so damn picky. Okay, you know what? I don't like it at all. So <laughs> we just we'll go ahead, we'll do something else, and we'll come back to that. Um, okay, it's so gonna put a doorway around here somewhere. So this, we obviously want to create a little bit of a section to, to the um, back area of the bar or where the actual bar area is, so um, what I'm thinking is creating a little walkway around the side here. Um, obviously our bar is going to be towards the wall just here. So we just put a couple of walls in the side here, so one other side. This is where the bar is going to be and the, the actual bar stand itself will go in the, in the dead centre. Um, but for now I'm just going to put some walls in there and then Kind of base structure going there, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and go up top here, and we're gonna just wall off this section here because this is the bar owner's uh, like crib or pad or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it's a little bit small, but I don't want to keep most of the space for the actual tavern itself. So I'm gonna put a doorway in here, and that's pretty much him done right there. Oh, actually, we'll fill in these. Uh, these gaps just here real quick while we're up here. So just using the corner pieces the left and the right We just smack them in like so and then in this set, uh, center section here you can just put a full wall in there, but Don't know why I'm doing this the hard way. I'm just gonna put two half walls in there And um, And then yeah, so that's pretty much done all I have to do is put the roof parts in so I'm going to go to the roof tab and I'm going to grab these uh, these ones here, okay. Uh, we don't need that one though because it's got two closed off pieces. Um, so we just want the one that has the one closed off piece and then just a couple of bits of timber. Okay, because they're our end pieces. Um, and then this one here is are the uh, center pieces, so just put them up like so. And then obviously we want that end piece again. Uh, facing outwards of course and just slip in like so uh, so it's looking pretty good so far uh, for a barn <laughs> of course and you know what I just found my stair spot I found it okay so I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna put it right there yeah that's a good fit I'm happy with that okay so I'm gonna put in a couple of these see-through small floors here because I kind of I'm thinking maybe putting uh, some like fish racks and stuff up there like kind of stored away you know you see in barns and stuff like that there's like racks right up top where they store hay bales and you know whatever else um, you know tools and machinery and stuff like that um, so that's what I'm kind of going for there um, I'm just gonna put some railings in for now and I'm gonna mix and match these well, I'm going to take that out first um, and I'm going to put these ones in the middle here because I want to hang a sign there um, and they're probably the flattest rails out of all of them uh, especially when putting signs and stuff like that on so um, these half walls here I'm thinking maybe uh, using these down the bottom maybe or yeah they don't go up top so maybe using them down the bottom here because they could be used as uh, like, you know, like I can put some um, tables there or something like that and some stools and, uh, you know, they're just like little covers for the inside of the bar where you know, the bar tenor might spike your drink or something. Um, and I'm probably not going to run rails around the rest of this other side here. So what I'll do is I'll take this out. Um, and I'm going to put a couple of little toilet blocks here, okay? Um, now, now that these have been added to the new DLC, I'm not sure whether your settlers actually use them now, um, or whether they're just for show, so. 
Um, anyway, we'll go around, we'll build a bit more of this deck as well while we're going. Um, it's just like an outdoor deck, of course. And I don't really want to make this too big. Um, it's probably a sufficient size, and then obviously it's going to create a little deck area around the front as well. So um, now we're going to build our little taller blocks here. So we're just building a two block room. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously we don't want any windows here. <laughs> so we're just going to use plain walls uh, all the way around, um, and obviously just put our doors in. We're gonna you just put some roofs on there, so we're gonna use these end pieces for the side here and then our center pieces for the middle. Like so. Um, and then we just need to put a door on the front here as well. Uh, put a wall in first, so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our miscellaneous section here. I'm going to grab the first outhouse just here because we can just place this in like this. You don't need to uh, put an actual toilet or anything like that in there. Um, that's not looking too bad. Just try and straighten this up a little bit. And right there looks good. Okay, same thing here. And that also looks pretty good. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and stick a couple of <laughs> these um, high-tech toilet bowls in. And uh, you know what? That is pretty much the general structure of it all. Okay, so other than a few uh, minor fin uh, finishing touches um, you know this is pretty much the base structure in itself so I mean the, overall this is all I was trying to do was just trying to uh, you know familiarize myself with all of the new prefabs and kind of see how I can put them together so when I start making some actual proper builds um, you know I'm a lot more prepared for it to build some pretty cool stuff uh, hopefully, so um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with all of it. Uh, I'm not really happy with some of the snapping. I mean, I really didn't think you could get much worse than the concrete prefabs, but I mean, I guess that's sort of the whole part of settlement building. Um, in order for us to make bigger, better, complex structures, of course, it's going to be harder to build with. Um, but you know, I don't really find it hard myself. Um, uh, you know, for some people it might be, um, but you know, I'm I'm pretty happy with all of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a uh, kind of like a front porch area to the tavern here. So um, one thing I've noticed is that you need to put a wall in in order to put a roof somewhere. Okay, so I'm just going to place this wall in here, um, and then I'm going to use these flat roofs just here to create myself a bit of a kind of porch area around the side here and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that wall out and then I'm going to use these uh, in the miscellaneous tab here there's some new kind of uh, wooden posts here um, this is another new feature I like so I'm just going to use this to create uh, some support sort of structures for this uh, porch area so um, yeah, and they come up quite nice, I think. Adds a little bit more detail to these really square boxy barns. And you know what? I feel pretty happy where this is at the moment. This is just a play around build, so we're not going to go much further. Um, but, you know, I do feel a lot more familiarized with some of this new content and ready to do some serious building. Um, so what I'm going to do is just quickly take you guys ahead and just have a look at the uh, finished product I guess um, I didn't really get it finished but I'll just take you to 
the decorated version, um, yeah, which looks quite nice. A few little decorations and stuff. I've used one of the half walls up the top there to create a little bit of a signboard for the um, tavern sign. And uh, yeah, like all these crates and stuff like that are just really good decor, you know, stuff to add around your settlement and, and everything. It looks like a real Bethesda game, uh, Bethesda made sort of structure. Um, and I've just added signs everywhere to the point of ridiculous where I've got like bakery and candy and stuff like that, which just has nothing to do with the tavern, but <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, and anyway, look, it comes up right. Um, might have went a little bit overboard in some areas. Um, some of the stuff's unfurnished. Uh, some of the doors aren't even on here. So, you know, I didn't go all out over the top. I mean, this was just a play around build to get familiar with everything. Um, this isn't one of my actual builds that I want to put on display. But, you know, hopefully this has just helped people out to learn how to build with the barn stuff and um, you know some slightly easier methods to work with it it's it's quite complex and it's not easy to work with but I, I assume it's a lot like concrete that over time it will become easy um, for now I'm pretty happy with that I feel a lot more familiar with it so I'm going to now start some serious builds and um, I'm going to wrap it up there so I'm going to thank you all for watching and Guys, please don't forget to drop a like for me. Um, I'm TLK and I'll see you guys next time.